Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. And, oh, there we go. All right. I wonder if I started too soon. Hope oh, Twitch didn't cut that off. Uh, still getting used to doing the Twitch only, uh, the Twitch only stream, uh, and getting used to all the all the fun stuff in the new interface. And today, as far as the game goes, instead of no, I didn't mean to show off the Optifine banner. Although, isn't that nice? Optifine is a wonderful project, and if you enjoy projects like that, you too should. Uh, Toss a coin to your project admin. No server of plenty. Um, <clears throat> all right. So today, we're going to take a little break from that storage project, because what I want to do next, I need to talk to Rayast about, and she is in the midst of an emergency and won't be able to join us today. Bad face. So instead, what we're going to do is up on top of the sugarcane farm that Medic built, we're going to start working on some sort of small creeper farm. Um, and th this is actually a part where I kind of wish I had a better plan going in, but um, I'm not sure what to do with everything in the space allotted. But before I do anything else, I hear people on the uh, on the mic. So say hello. Also, I forgot that I left uh, shaders turned on, so that's why everything's looks pretty, but a little, uh, a little uh, not laggy, but uh, not as smooth as it could be either. Eventually, I will need to invest into a uh, beefier PC, but uh, I don't know. It looks good. It's uh, sliders, basic shaders, in case anybody was wondering. So Medic was kind enough to put an intake right there into the storage underneath this joker. All I got to do is figure out what kind of farm I want to build on top. So the idea is that the uh, sugar cane from the little zero tick thingy over there will start piling up in here. And uh, the gunpowder should start piling up in here as soon as I uh, get this built. It, oh, without running into the tree. Maybe I ought to turn the shaders off. Bumping into stuff like that is not uh, not good for my long-term health. Alright, so what I... I just got to figure out what kind of creeper farm I want to fit on the roof up here. Um, I tried a couple of different designs in creative and they're all a little, eh, they all ended up looking a little janky, a little bit wrong. Um, one of them looked like it should have done okay, but it produced all of like one gunpowder in an hour AFK. Um, that, that doesn't seem to be the most useful. No. And yeah, I just, I, I'm kind of, I'm not sure if it's something with the way that I set up the world for the download for offline testing. So I'm wondering if maybe building it on the server would help. But on the other hand, part of it is the the shape of the building uh, doesn't really doesn't really work for what my first inclination was. Uh, I was going to try to build some of the spawning platforms with cats to scare the creepers off, so I didn't have to worry about water updates uh, flushing everything off and. Um, well, cats will only scare creepers. Um, sorry, I gotta turn the shaders off. That was really getting to me. Um, cats will only scare the creepers, but so far. So in, our, in order to do this in the space 
allotted, I needed to fit two cats on here, each platform. Uh, which isn't too bad in and of itself, but uh, that's that's a lot of cats, especially if we want to get four or five platforms. Um, I can go back to doing a flushing system like I did in Season Zero. Uh, just need to work out the, the redstone to make all that happen, but that is a lot of water updates. And while 1.15.2 does seem to do a little bit better on that front with them, uh, it's still, still not the best, but, uh, that doesn't exactly leave me an abundance of other options either. So I'm probably just going to have to work out a flushing system. And that is what I'm going to spend today doing. I also want to make sure that I build it um, so that way where the iron blocks are here, Medic can decorate in a wall similar to what he's got going on the first half of the building. So I want to constrain myself to uh, sticking in this, this part here. And it's dark again. So what you guys working on? What's wrong with the beacon? Another emerald thing. Okay, so going to need to bring. Why do you say that? Oh, he's on right now. Oh no, he's not. He's eating dinner. We're, we're also struggling with some uh, mic problems on his part. His mic's a little sensitive. Uh no. We, we we get a couple other different styles of mics that we might try just to see if that helps. Although it was working fine before, and that's the part that puzzles me, is it wasn't a problem right up until it was. And, and th those sorts of things usually, usually give me pause. Let's try. Oh, no, that's why I didn't put that there. Okay. Okay. Alright, so that's going to be the wall. I might as well go with at least part of that original design. Um, hmm. I need some orange wool. 
a comparator, a repeater, torch, sticky piston, a redstone block. I need a fence gate. All right, before I go making a dozen fence gates, let me see what we got in storage. I mean, for the most part, storage is finished. Um, the unloading system doesn't quite work as well as originally planned, but it works well enough for now. I'm probably going to come back in a future episode and uh, re rebuild this. The, the trick is finding a design that'll fit in the same space. Um, because the end goal is, is I want the shulker boxes to unload and then when you push the thing to break the boxes that you get the boxes not them going into the storage system uh, but our bulk storage works our multi-item storage works it just takes a little bit of time if you're impatient um, and you got to make sure you leave a placeholder item too and uh, we, we got our little overflow storage and that seems to be working pretty Almost well. Not sure why we got three extra stone in there, though. Maybe I gotta fuss with the timing. Alright, not, not the problem I'm working on today. Not the problem I'm working on today. I need to think. Huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought I had the timing set up so that you wouldn't have to worry about um, moving uh, items moving through the system faster than the bulk storage system could pick it up. And it looks like I didn't quite achieve that. Because um, that, that is why the stone ended up in the overflow section. So I need to fuss with the timing a little bit more over here and... Uh, figure out what it is I need to do to slow that down just a little bit more but I also gotta not get distracted by the project I, I originally set out because I might end up having to fix that anyway to get the multi-item bit working too all right I need one there one there this guy back here That guy back there. Nope. Nope. Other way. Right. And I need rails. Ooh, we uh we still need a a higher output gold farm, don't we? Oh no no don't don't <laughs> don't hear what I'm not saying. Uh, I understand that. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! Trust me, I I understand that completely. I just saw the placeholder of dubious value. Cracks me up every time I see it. I can see if I can figure out a, a way to get the chat overlaid just a little bit more to the left or still uh still trying to get used to the the new layout. Uh, do I want to do this just like I had in the design there? Yeah. Alright, I'll see if I can manage this without much trouble. Uh... 
that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Sorry, just trying to double check myself. This is the unloading station that uh, I'm going to put in here. Uh, some of the other ones that I'm used to using that are a little more compact, uh, for whatever reason, weren't working right in the test world. Like a cart full of items would just kind of roll up and then roll on back down without getting stopped or unloading. And that was kind of weird. Um, so I found this design, which was one that I'd looked at before, but ended up discarding. And actually... Yeah, no, I, I I might make this, uh, I might do this a little different since I got time. Because I still haven't figured out exactly what all I'm going to put in here. Uh, oh, yeah. That's fine. I'll be picking up lots of stuff over there. Um. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put that there. I'm gonna grab. Do I not have a hopper minecart? I do not have a hopper minecart. Well, if only we had the iron to make some spare hopper minecarts. <laughs> that 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 does remind me that one of the items that I do want to uh, fix in fairly short order is I want to uh, I want to get a apparently because it's nighttime again um, <clears throat> I want to get it set up so that uh, the iron farm turns off when it gets full because uh, that that is the one farm that that I've built that doesn't have an automatic off switch and I don't want that one to start overflowing either it is uh, it is definitely outpacing usage I've started using the iron block as just a, a building block for when I need something that's not going to be seen. And I think it's kind of funny that because we had the iron farm that early, one of the side effects is uh, iron has become a trash block for, you know, placeholders and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I needed a fair amount of it for part of it, but not not much lately. Although when I get around to the log farm, I'm probably going to need a, a bunch more, but that's more for the pistons and whatnot. We, we did go through a more than moderate amount of iron uh, building all the <laughs> all, all the pistons and whatnot for the uh, for the storage item, particularly for all the uh, hoppers. Oh man, there's so many hoppers. All right. Uh, I got a regular piston in here somewhere, don't I? Yes, there we go. And a lever. And where's my wrench? There we go. The idea being that with that hopper minecart embedded in there, that will allow the hopper minecart that's going to do collection to unload faster. Because uh, hopper minecarts pull a lot faster than a regular hopper. So that'll keep uh, our collection system traveling um, much faster. In theory, at least. I gotta go pick up some of the items I left back in that I let drop down into that. Alright, there those be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kill chamber on the uh, on the guardian farm is uh, next in line. I, I didn't have the stuff set up to I, I need to i need to take uh the a backup of the world load it up in creative so i can start running the spawning spheres and 
figure out just how far away from the chamber you got to be for stuff to actually show up. We might also want to take um, maybe next week's stream and go on another uh, lighting run. Reyes did a fair amount down here, but when I logged in, I, I kind of glitched and saw a whole bunch of uh, chambers with zombies underneath where, where I was loading in. So, so I suspect we've got a uh, more than moderate amount of... Um, over here in the community center, which is going to affect, um, which is going to affect the, uh, the creeper farm that I'm working on now. Um, it would not surprise me if the guardian farm is also in the same boat. And I say that only because, uh, is it just me or does there seem to be more caves in the world generation here lately than there used to be in versions past? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yes. Coffee. I'm not big for paid placement, but if Dunkin' Donuts would like to talk to me about featuring their coffee prominently as I do the stream, uh, I'm not saying every man has a price, but... um. This one might be bought. <laughs> uh, more than once a week, good sir. More than once a week. But you got the price right, so. <laughs> twice. <laughs> no, a little more than twice. Come on. Do you know how much coffee we go through around here? <laughs> oh, seriously? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, a little bit. I take it you're not going to bother running the mic as hot as it is. Nah, not at the moment. All right. Um. Yeah, let's give this a try. All right, so if we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's not going to quite go the way that I wanted to. Um, hmm. it wouldn't happen enough we have any, uh, magma blocks over at storage, do you? Nah, I... All 
All right. If I were Ray asked, where would I put magma blocks? <laughs> the the if I were Ray asked, where would I? Uh I'm I'm gonna need more mag. There there's three here that I could grab. Oh yeah. Um she she likes putting all of the colored stuff in a box. As I'm sure you found out. So all the white stuff goes in a white box. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty Yeah. That's pretty much how all the concrete, concrete powder, uh wool and carpets and glass and Terracotta. Yep. I think what I might do I'll just put a kill strip over this rail here. And I'll use this side to get some gates or something up against. I feel like I'm wasting it, but I need that I need that space for the unloading station. And I can't put the unloading station here because I'd need to sink it down. One wow. I guess I could move it there. No, because we wouldn't be able to hide it. I need to sink it down one to hide it, and then it'd be visible from the outside. Oh, a wild medic appears. I swear you look like Beetle Bailey with that helmet on. <laughs> of course, the big question is how many people actually know who Beetle Bailey is. Oh, hush. The uh, <laughs> yeah, was that a problem? That's pretty cool. Trying to do your uh, landing strips again. Nice. Sweet. I love how you got a little night laid out the uh, one side here. You can't see by the light of Arcadius's base. <laughs> oh, you're wrong for that. Okay, so.
protect the redstone. <laughs> did that seriously, did that unload that quick or did that just not stop? Like, all right. I don't think that stopped. I don't know. It is empty. Maybe it did unload that quick. Did I make this more efficient than I realized? I mean, if I'm going to be surprised by efficiency, that uh, that, that would I'd much rather be <laughs> go. Oh wow, that's even better than I thought it was going to be. That <laughs> that that seems the better way to go, right? I mean. What do I need to do to toss in here to make sure that, uh, so I don't think it's going to be producing so much gunpowder that I got to worry about it being more efficient than a stack. I'm thinking of doing. Do this here. So that'll end up being our drop shoot. Uh, spawning platforms will be off here. I'll put a clock in the bottom here, and it will trigger all the all the droppers and things on the way up for each platform. And I'll just do platforms like we did before. I need to make sure I leave a space for medic to do his infamous decorations. And I need to go grab some iron blocks. <laughs> I don't know. I got a couple stacks. I think that's actually all the redstone we need for this project. Well, oh wait, no, 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 because I got to worry about the. I got to do the clock. Um, the other thing I got to do. I need to go sifting through the screenshots to find. Uh, find some of the clocks that I've used before. What do you mean? Um, de it depends on which ice and what you break it with. Yeah, then you should get a water block. Where are you at? Oh, up at the top. Yeah. Oh, I went to your entrance. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Kidding. Okay. okay. Oh, 
Okay, that is regular ice. That is weird. Uh, that's still odd, because you should... Yeah, any light. But that should have uh that should have produced a, a water source. Ah. Uh. Yeah, no, I was trying to take off, but instead of firing the rocket, I closed the gate. Yeah, should be. Ah, no, nope, just, ah. <laughs> there we go. Third time's a charm. Is it because there's nothing under the block of ice? Ah, because there's got to be something under the block of ice. Nope. Not this time. Uh, not a mod pack. We are playing with some data packs. Uh, the difference is kind of slight. Uh, data packs are supported by the game. Um, although curious, why, uh, what makes you ask about the mod pack? Is it the wrench? Or, uh, I think I missed the comment. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the, the Twitch comments being on my right instead of on my left. And being a smaller font. Uh, I am getting ready to go find a bed. Because it looks like it's about time to sleep. Mm hmm? Just look for the ore. Um. Oh, oh, oh. I'm using the Optifine client, which smooths out the glass textures and a couple other minor, minor graphical enhancements. Plus, we do have our own texture pack with some minor tweaks. So that is why some things will look a little bit different. Uh, I also have one that uh, makes the center of the um, scaffolding. Uh, I have that little hole that you can see through. Because it seems kind of useful. But yeah. Uh, the, the ice blocks will produce water if you have something underneath them when you break them. So you can toss a temporary block under there. Then break it. And then, uh, leave it all set. Here. Since I broke a bunch of the glass that you had before. I, I am trying to work on the creeper farm. Installing because, <laughs> because I'm not sure the the few designs that I've tried to put together in creative haven't exactly worked out all that well. So yeah, it's going to be on top of the sugarcane farm. He's on top of the world.
Well, because he's getting ready to go fortune a bunch of uh, a bunch of redstone ore. How, how much redstone ore is that anyway? A stack? No, that's got to be at least two stacks. Really? Mm hmm Yeah, but he's living dangerous. You you see that utter lack of cape. <laughs> that 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 is one mistimed uh, button click away from a uh, horrible horrible fate. <laughs> oh oh no no no! I, I have nightmares from that. <laughs> Aren't you glad PvP's turned off? <laughs> Accident. <laughs> Did he move you? I was too busy doing air quotes on accident. <laughs> Some XP to <laughs> fix up that pickaxe. Well, if you ever wondered why we turned PvP off. <laughs> Are you looking for a project rest? Um. Okay. I just, uh, I need a bunch of fence gates. The kind that won't be seen. So whatever, whatever we have an abundance of. I've got a bunch of sticks over here already. And there we go. Nice. <laughs> All that for two stacks of redstone lamps? Okay. Wow, that's... Uh, a stack is probably more than I need, but enough to... A safe, a safe number. I, I just had a bunch of torque... There we go. Okay. Yeah, a bunch of torches. Because I wanted to light up under here before I started installing redstone. So I didn't uh, spawn more than... <laughs> spawn creepers where I didn't want them. I would much rather they be where I want them. Alright, so here's the basic idea. Creepers need a space a little less than two blocks high. This is going to be the back wall. And, yep. Yeah. Alright. 
so this spot two blocks high will spawn creepers zombies and skeletons I just want the creepers so I'm gonna put a bunch of trapdoors and maybe a ladder so I can get up and down better so the end correct so you put a bunch of trap doors under there and then that space is now too short for the zombies and too short for the skeletons but just tall enough for the creepers the only problem is it is also tall enough for spiders which we do not want that wall is going to come one two well since i'm going to use water to flush them it's actually not going to be all that helpful what i'm thinking of doing is like i did in season zero and uh I'm gonna have to push that all the way out and making two channels uh spawning channels that are only too wide so that way um it's not big enough for the spiders, but it is big enough for the everything else. Yeah. Uh, just leave it in one of the boxes. I'll find it eventually. Oh no, not down where what? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That, that's not the safe spot. <laughs> and here I was thinking that was an absurd amount of storage for the iron. Of course, again, th this is the earliest we've had a functioning iron farm. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I I do like the pumpkin melon farm for XP a lot more than I do uh, the spider farm. In no small part because I need the emeralds to go trade with the idiots for more books. I gotta get my backup gear together. For the next wave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that and if we could get them to funnel into a tighter space than a eight wide space. You know, something just narrow enough that you could hit them all with sweeping edge, but not so narrow that uh, they end up taking cramming damage. Um, <laughs> uh, did you not see the death message? Well, he's got friends in high places. <laughs> I, I love how that just kind of like petered out and like, I, 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 yeah. All right. Let's see, if I use the outer wall, the decorative wall that's going to go there as part of this. Let me go to oops, fill in that gap. Yeah, we could do, we could do the slabs too. Um, or actually, I could probably just throw some trap doors at the problem. Well, then that gives me one, two, 
three, four, five, five chambers per layer. That might not be too bad. I just got to figure out where I'm going to run the redstone up. And... Yeah. There should be a familiar face in chat. Pink Geek. All right. Um, yeah, I'm getting ready to play with water, so let me go ahead and uh, wall this in a little bit better. That way accidents don't make grown people cry. <laughs> Why, well, I have no idea what you're referring to. I have never accidentally washed out all the redstone that I very meticulously put down. I wouldn't go so far to say no one has ever done that. It is possible to learn lessons through the examples of others. <laughs> I actually wasn't talking about you, but I mean, if you want to just throw yourself out there like that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> I don't know about doing the initial construction of the pumpkin farm, but I know while we were trying to fix it, we kind of washed ourselves out a couple of times. Ooh. Yes, they are. They're silent, though. And I'm not going to use them. I, I tried working them in the design and creative. Huh? No. I'll, I'll find a new home for them somewhere. No, that's not lying. I, I, I'm, I'll bring them back to my place. Go put them in the villager retirement home. They can tell me which one's going to knock off next. <laughs> well, I mean... And no, Arcadius, you cannot take care of the villagers for me, or the cats. All right. Uh... Can seven what? I want to say it's less than seven. It's either seven or less or less than seven. I, I don't remember which. I always try for eight or better anyway, just to be safe. Where you left him? Oop.
Okay. Still need to figure out where I'm going to run the redstone through this. Because I'm going to go with the, these chambers too wide. This up here. It worked out well enough since season zero. I was trying to do something a little bit better. Yeah, uh, since, since you didn't hear the first part, Ray asked, the the cats, um, the, the radius at which they'll make creepers run away is circular and I'm trying to fit them in an oval shape here so it was going to take two cats per platform and uh, four was not going to be enough and I just didn't feel like breeding them up Okay. And we'll do that. That'll stop the water flow and allow them to fall through. Ooh. I think I'm about to go through more iron blocks than I realized. Okay, not a problem. I mean, we might run out. <laughs> no, we don't. In all seriousness, though, I do need to figure out a way to... Uh, I want to throw a little more storage in there. And um, and I need to figure out how to how to get an off switch on the farm, so that way when it does ultimately fill up, it will turn itself off, and we don't end up uh, with an overflowing iron farm. <laughs> You don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, other than falling. That's just going to keep going up there. Hey, Reyes, when's the last time you've slept in the game? Okay, just wondering if you needed to sleep the night so that way we don't get the phantoms. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you say that until the mother of all phantoms is after you. I don't know. Did I? <laughs> I thought it was. Where the random villager heads were. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the follow. Oh, there we go. There's the alert. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce it now. Tyridan? T-Y-R-D-R. Tyridan? I, I, I deeply apologize for mispronouncing. 
Uh, that that is one of the things that I am acutely aware of. Um. Yes, I do. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Thank you. <laughs> Teardry and Teardrian. Okay. Yes, thank you for the follow. We're uh, going a little more lackadaisical than usual today. Because uh, that monster project over there was the full focus for a couple of weeks. Uh, you go get some monkeys and... Oh, wait, no. Um, really? Uh, no, it's with uh, planks and slabs. And then I usually look at the recipe book because I can never remember the arrangement. No, it was probably made by a curmudgeon. With curmudgeonly love. Here I am putting all this together, and I'm neatly avoiding the part that uh, I still haven't figured out, which is how I'm going to do the wiring for the... for the droppers and stuff. Uh... I don't want to run a signal right up there. That's going to be the wall. Could do it up through here. I was originally going to try to do this with uh, waterlogged trap doors. Because they don't run into some of the issues that dispensers do. But... I don't think I'm going to have a choice on this one, so let me go get some dispensers, and we will not be putting the buckets of water in just yet. If I were Ray asked, where would I put dispensers? Mm -hmm. Mostly. It, it still cracks me up that you wanted everything with the face in the same box. I'm not confused, just amused. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Uh oh. You just said it with that tone that makes me say, uh-oh. That's all. I know that tone. There, 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 there was a tone. I have known you your entire life. I recognize that tone. <laughs> Seriously. How come I can't get one of those little rats whenever I want to? But every time I don't need a, a stupid little endermite, they're everywhere. I guess it would probably help if I didn't call them little rats too, but... <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So if I run those guys like that. I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. Of course, I keep looking over at the statuary and 
forgetting that that's not you standing there. You have a turtle helmet on. That's what I got to remember. <laughs> yeah, the turtle helmets are great, especially when you're trying to, you know, go after some of the underwater wreckage. That was, uh, that was not... <laughs> Uh oh. All right. Um at least two pistons they need to be <laughs> are we going on a trip sure you do you fly like all of us do I think I know what happened. <laughs> oh, that, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, hello, Java. Would you like attention to? Is this water curtain to waterlog the uh, interior wall? Does that count as waterlogged? If the water is just flowing by it? Or does it have to actually be like waterlogged, waterlogged? Well, are, are you asking? about using all the colors like I mean I would have figured of everybody of anybody <laughs> okay uh, oh that's right I was going to find a shuffle through my screenshots Somewhere in here, I've got the clock that I used for the mob dropper last season, and that seemed to work pretty nicely. <clears throat> uh, oh, wait, no, that's a different... Nope, nope. No, oh, forgot I did that one. Okay. Um... Uh oh. Your frantic and furious uh typing. Man, there's a lot of screenshots over there. Oh I gotta remember that one and post that up on the uh website. Coffeecraft.us <laughs> All right, getting closer. Now we're getting the screenshots at that season. All right. 
No. Have fun storming the castle. Got a lot of random screenshots in here. Oh, getting closer. No, oh, that's the chicken cooker. Well, that's a happy jump of moving over there. Oh, for serious. There we go. Okay, I might be able to make that work. I think I can make that work. Oh, oh, it's nighttime. I hope nothing spawned in the spaces above me. Wow. Since uh since we fixed that clock, that melon pumpkin farm is really producing. Like every time I look over there there's more more cranking out. Alright, so we're going to start with the old Etho Hopper Clock. Two, three, four, bam. And I need a couple of comparators. Oh, they're in the other box. And yeah, they they really need to add something like the redstone wrench to uh to the game itself. They used to have the debug stick. I mean, we don't need everything that the debug stick made happen, but the ability to rotate blocks is just one of those uh absolutely phenomenally wonderful things. All right, so we got those there, and a dot of redstone there, and a dot of redstone there. Oop. Light. Hmm. I just wish I could remember how many uh, how many items I put in the in the hopper clock. All right, go get a mess load of repeaters. We're going to take Ooh, Maybe I didn't think this one through all the way Two, three, four, five, six Four, five, okay, okay Uh-oh that doesn't sound encouraging.
Well, stop irritating yourself. Ah. <laughs> Did you say off the side of the mountain? Oof. Oh, yeah. I hear a butt. No? Ah. All right, so... <laughs> Do you have a fan? Uh, okay, well, I, I mean, that that is a fair... You hear random walking noises. It, it could be Arcadius just playing with you. Oh, how did I end up with two Prismarine? All right, let's, uh... Hmm. No, that's too close. Put that there, we'll put that there, we'll run that there, that goes on four ticks. That'll go in there. Ooh, space. The one thing I could use just a little more of. So the hopper clock runs, that's going to bring it here. This is going to turn a steady signal into a pulse. The rinstone signal is going to come here. It's going to power this block once. Because once that delay is done, this output will be greater than that output, which will turn off the signal. So that's just going to be a quick pulse. And one signal is going to come off of here. Go down to Okay. And go into there. Hope that I got this uh, set up right. No delay on there. And I'm going to take a second one. I do it off there. That's going to... How many of these did I have in here? I... That one's on no delay, but that still adds a little bit. So we got one, two, three, four, 
seven, eight, nine, ten ish. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can make that work anyway. Two, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, that, that looks, um, We'll call it rudimentary. That that works. All right, so we needed 10 of these on a full delay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. And if I need more delay, I got one more that I can play with. Hmm. All right. Still wish I knew how many I had in here. Um, We'll try a half stack for now. I'll have to look for that a little later. I need torches. So if we do that and that. Hmm. Okay. No, I might be able to make that work. Um I'm out of enderpearls. that there come back and add these later Oh. Oh, cause that got powered? Nope. All right, yeah. We can make that work. We can make that work. All right. Um, that's the clock. Now it's just going to be a lot of uh, a lot of block placing, I guess. The wall's going to go there. I'll wait until Medic puts the wall up to add the water buckets to those guys at the end. <clears throat> All right. 
right, we got trapdoors all the way across, and yeah, all right. Just, um... Time to... Time to get these guys squared away. I figure out how to make my way around my own creation. All right. So those go there. Yeah. All right, that side's done. Oh, I'm going to need buckets of water. Um, let's do this. Let's just make some buckets. And we'll use ice to make some water. Yeah, so I'll leave those two at the end empty because the wall is not up. I'll put a water bucket in there. It's just a matter of making sure I got the timing right. Because, <laughs> yeah, the long pause should be empty, so that should give everything time to spawn in, spawn in, spawn in. And then it's going to pulse. That should be enough time to push everything out. And the gates are stopping. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, and the Kurt's picking that up. And the water's going right to the edge. Fantastic. Okay. One of those at the end there. Four, five, six. And move that out of the way. And almost any more redstone dust. That's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Awesome. That should still be strong enough to trigger all the dispensers. Didn't mean to throw all that. Oh, Mo Yang, why do you hate inventory? Right. Now it's just a matter of rinse and repeat. We got these guys over here, all the way down. We got our gates at the end. And we're going to go dispenser, dispenser. Hello, you back? <laughs> I 
Okay, good. That's collected, and we'll go bucket, bucket, wheat. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep building up the interior, um, maybe four levels of what I've got. And I'm leaving you a perimeter to build the outside similar to the way you did it. But uh, here's the catch. That that outside wall is part of what's going to retain the water. So uh, if you'll put buckets in the dispensers at either end as you build up the wall, that would be fantastic. Um, that, yeah... Th that that's not conducive to your long-term health. I'm just saying. All right. Oh, <laughs> um, there's going to be dispensers here and here, and same at the other side. But um, here's where the outer wall is going to be over this iron block. Uh, so as you build up this iron wall, as you build up the wall above here, just fill these two at the end and at the other end with water buckets. Because I don't want the I don't want the system running and flushing uh water out, out of the system. I'm just having it dripping all over the place. So this iron band all along the outside is for you to build up a, a wall around it and make it look make it look pretty. I figured you'd want to keep it in the same style as the uh, as the first floor. I mean, we could do it, but it wouldn't be the weirdest thing we've ever built. That's also not exactly. Uh, that's not exactly saying much either. <laughs> All right, and that's just a lot of block placing. Yeah, the other thing I got to figure out is where the best AFK spot is, so that way we, uh, we don't end up um, creating problems. Oh, those guys already have buckets of water. That is almost everything there, so I just need dispense oh, facing the correct way. Dispenser, dispenser. Waiting for the clock. Fenced. And back in. One. Oh. That's why I didn't do it like that. Bucket of water, bucket of water. There we go.
Okay, that's better. Buckets of water. Oh, that's right. I'm not going to put water in there anyway. This is where I point out that it's kind of quiet. Is everybody focused? Uh, of course, don't forget the the more you light it up, the uh, the more <laughs> the the fewer spots there are for other things to spawn. All right, layer one done. I mean, I guess I could have pushed this out one more and then used the outer wall here, but nah. I want to make sure that this is better enclosed anyway. That one extra block isn't going to make or break the difference. Uh-oh. Ah. I'm I'm actually out of iron blocks. Huh. Alright. I am gonna need the dust. I don't need the wool. I'll keep the blocks handy. Um I don't need the planks right now either. those guys away. I don't need the cobble. Don't need the torches or the repeaters or the regular torches. I'm actually good on the rails right now too. And the stone and the prismarine. All right, I just need some iron. Let the rep repetition begin. Oh, that would have been bad. I would have had more minecarts than I know what to do with. Well, you know how it is when you when you you know shift clicking in the recipe and you click 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 and then you accidentally hit the one right next to the one you're looking for yeah that would that would have been uh i guess we could call it we, we could use interesting interesting's a word it might even be the right word no two three four five use those for now. Oop. 
Rinse repeat. Two, uh, three. That'll go all the way to the edge there. All right. Yep. Okay. And I almost forgot fence gates. Did I remember them down there? Okay. Yeah, everybody's got them. They're all. That means that guy does not go there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I know that feeling. Uh, yeah, I, I've got uh, I've got the trackball that I was using off to the side. <laughs> It is now in timeout. And uh, eventually I'll get a legit replacement. I'm using a spare that I had floating around that I can tolerate. It would be too much to say that I liked it because I don't like it, but I can tolerate it. What kinds of? Oh. Yeah. What what exactly is the problem though? Oh. Uh could it be the sensor on the bottom? When's the last time that was cleaned off? Does it look like it's got power? <laughs> I, I do love the sound of you beating your mouse. Um. <laughs> is it battery or uh, is it wired or wireless? Thanks for the warrant. Uh, uh. <laughs> no hush. <laughs> I ran out of edge. <laughs> oh, and I do need torches. I need torches and wool. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What? 
Oh, oh, that's just. Oh, what the? Oh, come on, man. Oh. Oh, that that's that just. No, 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 no. That's... What did I forget? Oh, I forgot the fence gates before I put in the water bucket. That's what caused the water to wash everything out, even... The... No! <laughs> Let's just go ahead and preemptively uh, put the rest of these bad boys in, shall we? Did I remember the gates? Yes, I remember the gates. Now let's go fix that clock. And, oh, we washed out a bunch of those crops down there, too. Oh. Where the extra potatoes go? Do, do you have this part? Oh, that was just, that was sad. That was all sort, that was seven kinds of sad. <laughs> Alright, let me fix the clock. And maybe I'll call it a night. <laughs> Okay. You're gonna get one off of here, two, four, five. Um eight. No, I went one, two, three, four. Like that. One, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Oh, now all the timings are off.
I got them backwards now, don't I? Yeah, and then... Yep, I got them backwards. There we go. One problem solved. That's what I have there. All right, just to double check, so that's gonna blink. Okay, yep, that should be enough. Oh, there's one of the two rails that I gotta replace on the outer edge too. Actually, you know, let me do that now while I'm thinking about it. Going through my boxes. Seriously. <laughs> oh man. That okay. Yep, that that just I was on a nice steady rhythm there, getting everything getting everything built. You know what? Eh. I think, uh, holy mother of cakes, Batman. Seriously? How many cakes did you bake? Wow. That's uh, a lot of cake, good sir. You bored? Did you mug a baker? <laughs> Come on, where's the old man option to go to bed early? There we go. All right, this is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along. Uh, that, that was a little bit of a letdown at the end. Uh, just one, min one, one fence gate in the wrong place. And all your hard work just washed away. Let that be a caution to you. All right, so thank you for joining along. Uh, we do stream Coffee Craft on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, or at least I do up on my channel. And most of the crew is able to join most of the time, which is always nice. And if you haven't already, follow along, hit that little heart. It helps the channel out. And if you haven't already, head on over to the YouTube channel and subscribe over there as well. Uh, I upload the live stream archives over to the YouTube channel. I also upload the archives for my other show, Games Revisited, which I stream on Thursdays. Matter of fact, if you're new to the show, this Thursday is a good time to join because I will be starting a new series playing through Portal from the beginning. And uh, also, I will be getting back into producing shorter episodes of Coffee Craft. Uh, a little more targeted towards uh, builds and whatnot. Uh, just schedules have been kind of crazy here lately. Uh, I have been fortunate enough to still be working, which is good, a and I am very happy for that. Just uh, it doesn't leave it doesn't leave a lot of spare time for uh, for the building. And this past weekend, I spent most of my time with a heating pad because I pulled something on my shoulder, and that that did not exactly lend itself towards long hours working on a project. So. 
with that with that little bit out of the way let me return to if you haven't already subscribed to the youtube channel and uh, if you'd like to support the channel if you enjoy what you see head on over to live.anonjunior.com that'll take you over to the streamlabs page which has uh the option to throw a little uh tip my way that'll help offset the cost of the server and some of the other equipment that goes into this and uh help everything out it also has links to the twitch channel the youtube channel and uh, twitter if you want to follow along there too uh, i do practice social media distancing so don't expect a lot out of the out of the twitter channel but it's there have fun enjoy and i'll see you next time